Hello and welcome to Coaster Gents and today I'm going to be giving you a merchandise tour for Halloween Horror Nights 2024. Good morning then from Universal Islands of Adventure and the All Hallows Eve Boardwalk Lil Boutique where I'm going to head in and show you some of the 2024 Halloween Horror Nights merchandise as the Universal Annual Pass merchandise got released yesterday as well as the lineup t-shirt and much more so let's head inside. So starting off then, we've got the chubby popcorn bucket which is back for a second year. The candle. So here's some of the Mel's dyeing stuff. So here's the t-shirt and it says annual pass holder on the sleeve as well as this metal sign and the pin badge. And then we have loads of Lil Boo stuff as well, so earrings and bracelets, pin badges, shoulder pet, keyring, lanyard, kids t-shirts, pouch. So we have this new little handbag, which is 35. It doesn't feel great quality though, I can't lie. And this bag. Um, Vest t-shirt just there and then more vest t-shirts, bucket hat, this one and then we have the poster with the line up on it which I will be getting right now that is $15 And then we also have the hoodie with this design on it as well. And then still got lots of the Lil Boo bigger plushies as well. And lanyards. All done in the All Hallows Eve Boutique then. I'm gonna head over to the Five and Dime over in Studios to see if they've got any more. Just got over to Universal then, and this is the site I look forward to seeing all year. The medallion is finally up, as well as the posters for the IP houses. Eternal Bloodlines, Ghostbusters, A Quiet Place, and Insidious the Further. It is weird not seeing that extra one just there because we normally have five IP houses, but still a solid lineup. So let's head inside to the Five and Dime to have a look around. Not much different in here then. Majority the same. Nothing new in the Five and Dime then compared to the All Hallows Eve Boutique. But that's it really, that's all the Horror Nights merchandise that is out 
so far but more will be dropping every day until all until we get to the actual event and the tribute store opens and then even then they'll probably release more stuff but finally some construction for demon queens is up which is exciting but to finish i'm gonna head in the summer tribute store to see if they've got anything new and then here is the first thing of this year's tribute store it's giving alton towers scare fest I guess it's the theme with the uh, punk rock this year, but personally, I do think it looks a bit tacky considering they normally do like these huge, extravagant, highly detailed and themed facades, not just a shipping container that's been spray painted. Um, personally, I don't think it looks good at all, but we'll see. Also, because it doesn't blend into Torture Fair, and normally, normally it blends into the scare zone a bit better than a shipping container and also with the wooden ramps it just it looks very UK attempt whereas Universal have much higher standards but we'll see and never say never inside might be absolutely beautiful and they might even like do more with the outside which they probably will because it only appeared this morning so we'll see. So we've come to the end of the video if you did like it make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more Halloween Horror Nights videos. Thank you so much for watching. That's a wrap.